Okay. Give it a couple minutes for everybody to get in. Got school supply haul. All right. This sip of juice. Darla, Mitzi. How y'all doing? How was your weekend? Tori. Got tons of stuff here. We'll go through. Plus, I got a little happy mail. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I got a little happy mail. So, and then maybe we'll do a little mini collages. <clears throat> so, hi, Julie. Happy Marvelous Monday to you, too. How you doing? <laughs> How's your weekend? I got to go up and spend the night with Denise on last week. I don't know. <laughs> I lost track of days. Got so much going on. But, uh, yeah, I went up and got to hang out and got to do some art with Cameron. That was cool. I don't know if I have that picture. Let's see. Um, let me go over here. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see. Let's try to take pictures of these. So, what's everybody else been up to? Hi, Rachel, Sylvie. Hi, Pacoa. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Riri. Hi, Tina. Where'd she go? God, it goes by so fast. I try to grab it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Janet. How's it going? Hi, Arlene. Um... Let's see, Candy, who else am I missing? Kathleen, good morning, everybody. Let's see if I can bring up these pictures real quick. Let's see. Let's see. See if I can show this one of Cameron's little drawing. So yeah, we drew, um, hung out, watched some art videos, and drew. And uh, hang on, guys. Let's see if I can fix this. Brighten it up just a little. And this one. I don't know how well you can see it. Denise took a couple pictures of us drawing and we're laying down watching videos and drawing. So here's, let me see if I can edit that a minute. Let's see. Hang on, guys. You can kind of see. So yeah, there's Cameron drawing right there. He's drawn this face. Let's see if I can bring that. There we go. So yeah, there's one he was drawn. So anyway, we had a good time. Just spent one night because we had an appointment on third Friday, so I had to come back. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Let's see, Terry. Who else? Miseki. Tina saying hello to everybody. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hi, Rain. I said hi to Rachel, Darla. So good morning, everybody. And um, if you're new here or watching a recording, uh, my name is Dee Dee. I, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I come on about 8.30 to say good morning to everybody. It's a chat show. FYI. <laughs> Lots of chatting. <laughs> a little um, forewarned. <laughs> it's a chat show. And uh, <laughs> let's see, Darlene, Irene. Um, I'm probably missing some people coming in. I was looking on my phone. I got to show, I wanted to show a couple of things on Instagram. Have you tried black gesso? Um, 
you know, I rarely use gesso at all, Rain, because to me, I can do the same thing with just paint. So I have some black gesso somewhere around here, but I, I just use black paint. Um, yeah, there you go, right, Tina? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, Tony, working and lurking. Uh, let's see. I got some happy mail, something from Arlene. Um, I got, uh, I wish this picture would have taken better, but let's see if I can edit it. Cameron uh, did this art piece here. But it's got texture and stuff on it. You can't really see it. And I just took, he was holding it up in the air. So I kind of took it while he was holding it up in the air. But let's see if I can try to brighten it up just a little. So, uh, yeah. What else is going on with you guys? There we go. I think that's pretty good. So I turn it sideways. There we go. So this is one of Cameron's. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 by 12, something like that. So, yeah. There's all kinds of texture stuff. Whoops. There's all kinds of texture stuff there that you can't really see in the background there. But, yeah. So, yeah. Cute. Cute. <laughs> uh, so let's see Julie G uh, da, 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 da. I think I said hi to Irene Sil yeah yeah he does some good artwork whoops just smack my phone <laughs> whoops hi Barb let's see now here's the cats down there. And then he did this thing. I don't know how old this one. This one's kind of old, I think. He did this one on some cardboard. Well, I can't. I'm not going to take the time to adjust it right now because I'm missing chat. So, um, Irene. So, yeah, I got, I got school supplies. So, I have markers. Um, I got this new pencil sharpener. I've never seen this twist and sharp before. So I, 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 Janet, I didn't open it except to test the markers and these pins. And then I put it back in there so that it looks, you can see exactly what the packaging. And then look, look what's come out now. It's a 10 pack. I've already taken a couple out, but it's a 10 pack of um, half composition books. So we're going to work in this. And this was the 10 of them was like under $5. <laughs> Janet was wrong. So, um, oh, was it nice? I, I saw the big full moon yesterday, but I didn't, I didn't see it this morning. Hubster went for a walk at 430. He probably did, but I didn't even think to look. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there's some, I'll have to look out for some video or some pictures. Hi, Julie G. Um, Candy. What is it, baby girl? I hear you. You bringing me toys? You want my attention? Yeah. So, you know, this is the ones that I usually get every year, which are like, you know, this size. <laughs> you know, these little mini ones that I've worked in over the years. This is the ones I usually buy. I didn't see any of these this year. I saw none of these this year at my Walmart. Not that maybe they sold out or I just didn't see them, but these are what I usually buy every year. But this year we got the half, half comp books. And uh, so they're by Pin and Gear. And I uh, just kept the thing so I could show it to you. But yeah, there's like uh, 10 in a pack of under for under $5. Yeah, I got them at, I got all this at Walmart. I got it all at Walmart, Pecola. Yeah. I usually go like toward the first week or so of July. I've just been so busy. I haven't done any school supply looking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we went this weekend and, that, and I got this stuff to show you guys. Well, and to play with, of course. So some different pins. Even got some scented glue sticks. <laughs> Never seen that before. 
um, some Sharpie. These are the, um, like you can do calligraphy with these. They're the, you know, chisel tip. And then I got these colors. I've never seen these. I, I did do a test of them to show you, but these are Mystic Gem colors. Not seen those before. And then I already took out a couple of pins out of these two. Oh my gosh, I am loving, and I see there's four in a pack, but I took one out of each. These Sharpie S gels, medium point, black, are so slick. They're so slick. Now, they're probably, I haven't done tests to see how smeary they'll be, but they are really smooth. They ride smooth. And these are the same. They come in a black pin, a white pin, or a blue pin. As far as I can tell, they're all the exact same pin. They just have different color barrels sorry took a white one out i've been using i'm using it but i haven't um arted with it i've just written with it so we'll have to test the smear factor <laughs> smear factor oh so anyway um and i thought we would you know look at them all and test and I sh i'll show some of the colors that i did um i did do some tests on the colors so Anyway, um, yes. <laughs> I don't know, Jen. I, I haven't opened those yet. I know Jen's going, how can you, how can you not open stuff? I haven't opened them out, <laughs> Tina. Oh, no, no, I have control. I try to buy school supplies every year, so we're going to go through everything. Hi, Diana. Oh, no, you spilled your coffee. Get more coffee. Got to have the coffee. I had my coffee a couple, two, three hours ago, so I'm on my... I'm on cranberry juice now. Uh, and then I, I've been trying to drink lemon water, cranberry juice. Yeah. You bought the scented glue. Glue. Seen that at my. Yeah, you did see it. I didn't. I, I always need glue sticks, you know. And um, I like the Uhu purple. The, I like those. These are purple as well. These are. I don't know what color these are. Maybe clear. But anyway, we're going to open it up. But um, these are good for just like working in your little comp book. Oh, some of these I've worked with uh, Golden Map Medium. Some I've just done with glue sticks because these are just for playing. You know, these are just for playing in. And uh, I know I've flipped through these many times. So, um, and they, and it does, this one, most of the time they're pretty sturdy. This one kind of fell apart a little bit. But uh, usually comp composition books are pretty sturdy and don't pull apart. This one kind of did a little. Uh, I don't think this one did, but I might have, um, I might have, uh, what do you call it? Put, yeah, see, look, there's a little piece of black tape there. So some of them might have come loose. But uh, these are fun for uh, if you have leftover paint, leftover bits of collage, like a little mini desk journal. You just need something on your desk where you can throw leftovers on. And that's what this is. So anytime there's leftover paint or leftover collage bits, I'll just throw it in here and then scrape paint um, on it whenever, you know. So, yeah, there's some more in here. So anyway, these are the ones I've worked on over the years. See, look, just little bits of whatever's left over. I'll just glue stick them in. And then if I have leftover paint, I'll go and play with the paint. Just find a page where the color will coordinate with it and go in and paint on it. And that's what I'm going to do. And I pulled one out here because this is where I did my testing in the back here. And I did start gluing a couple things. Oh, some little fish fell out. I was going to glue these fish in here. So, um, yeah, we're going to play in the composition book after we show this. Um, let's see, rescue the art first. Uh, oh, yeah, because she spilled her coffee. So let's see what else. Let me nothing got wrong. Um, so what did y'all do over the weekend? Have y'all done anything creative, artsy, fun? Um, get out of the house. My nieces and nephews were all at the at, out camping. They posted all kinds of pictures all over Facebook and Instagram. They're out camping. It seems everybody's camping. Uh, let's see. Let me go over to Instagram and see 
what's under society of idea collectors over the weekend. There's a few things. So this one is Linda Renz and she did remember the last, um, the last idea weekly idea was to take shapes, you know, triangles. It can be any kind of shape circles, you know, rectangles, squares, any kind of shape. And, um, did you repeat yourself? Um, sometimes watercolor can be a little harder to control Tina than acrylic. Acrylic is nice and flat. You can paint over and over and over and over it <laughs> as many as you want. Um, hi, Kat. Miss you where you got those landscape comps. I got them at Walmart. I got all this stuff at Walmart. So um, well, I'm going to show them. Um, let's see. Julie worked in her Vagabond Traveler themed junk journal and one stable collection. <laughs> Julie, I mean, I got to tell y'all, Julie has done art every like every day for like five years. <laughs> I don't know how many years, but she is on it. She is on it. Let's see. Did you see my picture? I started with watercolor. Um, did you let me look? Did you post it in uh, Society of Idea Collectors? I don't see it. Tina, I always miss you because your name is so different. It's um, cat, catacomic. So I always, yeah, if this is the one you're talking about, yeah, I saw this. I liked it already. Yeah, so there's one of Tina's coloring uh, uh, pages right here where she started with watercolor. A picture I colored from Amelia, Amelia Lindhall Oberg's Fairy Tales color book. It's very beautiful. I liked it. See, I liked it, Tina. I always miss your stuff, though, because I, when I see Catacomic, I don't think of Tina. So it's just, I miss, I miss your post sometimes, Tina. Um, let's see. All right, let's go back to Society of Idea Collectors. Where was I? Oh, okay. So here I was. Um, Linda Rance did uh, shapes. She made a train with shapes. If y'all want to see these close up, go over there, go to Society of Idea Collectors and click on uh, recent. So there's Linda did a train. Isn't that cool how she made a train with all the shapes? I love that. So then let's see. Um, Miranda did, let me see what week. She did mind map with blueberries. Remember we had, uh, and again, guys, you don't have to post these in any weekly order. Like, you know, if you have your 10 weeks worth of 11 weeks worth of ideas that you've written down and you go back to week two and post something, it's, it is easier for me to tell what's going on if you post the week you did, but you don't have to. So she did the food mind mapping. That was one of the, uh, that was one of the, um, weekly ideas and she did blueberries. So again, Miranda coloring. Uh, let's see. Next we have um, Arlene. And Arlene did, I can't remember what she says. I can't remember what week this is, but it was shapes. It was last week. It's week 11. Uh, is it 10? Week 11. I have it written down too. So anyway, uh, Arlene did shapes. And it looks like she did like a, like a, I don't know. It looks so dimensional. I'm not sure what she did it on. 86 circles on there. So she has 86 circles on hers. So if you want to look at it close up, there's Arlene. There's Arlene's um, Instagram right there. And then let's see. Next we have Jane Litterick. And she did. I did it again. Another Zediology. <laughs> Jane's been doing a lot of Zediology. So uh, there's Jane right there. <laughs> uh, let's see hi does that you riri uh anybody else i missed coming in and then peggy wilson she did week 10 i took flower as oh she this was one of the mind mapping person place and thing and she you randomly pick off of your list so if you missed you know we make lists we make people, which is anything living. We make purse, we make places, we make things, we make all these lists. And you can make any kind of list you want. Transportation, you know, cities, any anything you want. And then you randomly, and you can number them and randomly choose from them and then make a piece of art from it. Well, this one, uh, Peggy said hers was a ballerina, 
bottles and a puddle. And so she has some lists over here and she did a little, little uh, illustration in the corner there. So that's Peggy Wilson. Let's see. Let me see if I can get her name right there. So you can see Peggy, Peggy Wilson. It's Society of Idea Collectors. Then let's see. Then we have Mitzi who is here. And she did, um, let me see, she patterned paper and shapes. And so she made flower petals, flower petals out of shapes. There's Mitzi, Mitz underscore Z. Let's see. Um, we are here to do some list making fools. Yeah. <laughs> But that's so that you have ideas all the time. <laughs> oh, Rachel made her list of why nots. Yeah. So let's see. Then the next one is Artist for Life. And I always forget who this is. Artist for Life. I do not remember who this is. But she did week 11 and she did shapes here. So again, there's some rectangles down here, triangles, a circle. So she made this flower. So this is Artist for Life 12. And it's, let's see. Oh, it's Darlene. Okay, when I clicked on it, let me, when I clicked on it, it's Darlene. So there's Darlene. So that's, that's cool, Darlene. So I think that's all the newest ones. I might have missed them. I can't say I've not missed them. I try to catch them all. And, um, and uh, see what everybody's doing. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's the whole thing is taking some ideas that we talk about here, keeping lists, writing the ideas down. Even if you don't do the ideas, the weekly ideas, and you don't have to post them, of course. But if you write them down, then when you say, well, I don't know what to do. I don't have any ideas. You can go. And uh, what is it, baby? You can go and uh, look up your ideas. I got it, Darlene. Yeah. He goes, it's me. I got it. I clicked on your name, Darlene. Yeah. So thanks, everybody. That just, you know, keeps up with something creative. It doesn't have to be any big major thing. It's just something little to collect your ideas. You can later go and develop it into something bigger or more, you know, more of a painting. But you have to have the ideas and you need to write them down. Or you would then you're going to be stuck when you go, I just don't know what to do. I want to do something. I don't know what to do. So, you know, you write it down. Hi, Linda Patrick. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm probably missing some people. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. I see you, baby girl. I see you down there on the floor bringing me toys. All right, well, I guess we can get started. It's a couple minutes till nine. So let's just slide everything over, and I'll show you all one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and start with the composition books because I think these are so cool. I think I'm zoomed in enough. Let me get my squeaky chair up to my table here. Um, don't forget, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Make sure you have live chat clicked. I might do a giveaway toward the end of the show if I remember. Oh, and speaking of, you know, I want to give away, of course, I only give away books in the States. So if you're in the States, I'll give away a book. This is a Rainforest Escape that Faithful Mess sent us. And that was the other question. I have um, messaged her twice on Instagram and not got an answer. Has anybody seen or talked to Faithful Mess in the last two, three weeks? I've not seen her anywhere. So I'm hoping she's okay. I texted her on Instagram. And uh, hopefully she's all right, but I have not seen hide nor hair of our faithful mess. So um, good morning, Mama Four. So she's the one that sent us some of these color books, the Rainforest Escape, which are like uh, watercolor paper books, color books. And they have a lot of uh, fl flap outs here. So uh, I'll try to remember, I'll give one of these away today. So I can get to the post office tomorrow. And then if you're international, I'll do an international giveaway and give you a print. So because I can't mail these books international, it costs twice as much as the book to mail nowadays. Twice as much than this book costs to mail international. So I just send out a print in a flat envelope, you know, eight by ten envelope. 
uh, to internationals because I don't want to exclude the internationals. All right, so I'll set this right over here and hopefully I'll remember. Somebody can remind me and toward the end of the show. Um, let's see, Atlanta, your cats bring you only time. <laughs> well, my cats do not go outside, Tina. My cats are 100% indoor cats. They do not go outside without a leash and a harness. So they can't bring me. Although they have caught lizards in the garage. They can go in the garage with the door closed, but I don't leave them out there long. You know, it's hot. You know, <laughs> I don't want them out there too long. But they've caught lizards out there. But um, that's it. You know, I don't think they've ever caught anything else. A bug. You know, a moth. <laughs> Big time game hunters, these two. So, um, oh, good. Oh, good. That's awesome, Tina. Practicing in it. Yeah. It's a pretty good book for practicing, but, you know, it's not, tr you know, it's <clears throat> kind of a cottony watercolor paper, so it can be a little tricky, but, you know, you can also use pencils on top of the watercolor. So any place the watercolor doesn't work well for you, you can always, you know, pencil on top. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So I think I'm caught up. Uh, again, make sure you have live chat clicked at the top, especially when we go to do a giveaway. I have, you know, we have the mods, we have live chat clicks, so we'll see everything. But if you, um, if you don't, you may not see everything. So, also, if it looks fuzzy or goes fuzzy on you, make sure you check your little wheel. I'm streaming on StreamYard at uh, 1080p, so um, at least set it to 720 at the very least so that you have a clear, clear uh, show. Okay. All right, Candy. Thanks for saying good morning. All right, so these comp books, these are the first time I, I've seen these. And it was, uh, again, there's 10. I've already taken two out. There's 10 in a pack for, I think it's $4.95 or something like that. Under five, under $5 for 10 of them. And I only kept this just to show you what it looks like when you buy them. They're like this, you know. It has pin and gear on here, but I wanted to just show you what it looks like. If you get them. And again, I got these at Walmart. Hi, B. Hi, Music World. Uh, who else? So they're just uh, wide ruled. They're wide ruled comp books. Again, they are. Let me go ahead and measure for you. I see a little princess sleeping on the floor. So cute. So cute. Okay, so let's see. Um, they are seven and a half by. I have to hold it up to the light because I, it's you know they're it's a clear ruler by what is that four and three quarters four and three quarters by seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half by four and three quarters. And uh, they're just plain old comp books, nothing fancy. Just they're like, you know, half half of a comp book. And again, these are the ones that I usually buy. These little tiny ones like this that are, I think it's written on there. Let me see. This one I can read. These are four and a half by three and a quarter. These little ones. So, um, but I did not see these this year. So I don't know if I just didn't see them or they're now going with this and they want to promote these. So they're not showing the selling the little ones. But anyway, so, yeah, um, it'll be fun. I did start playing in one, doing some of the swatches in the back here to show you the colors. I started one little collage thing here and I got some I just started it. I just glued some little stuff down just to put, we're going to play in that today. Just kind of like I do these. You know, these little tiny ones like this. Just make some little mini collages. And uh, nothing fancy. It's mostly just, you know, picking a couple elements and then painting them in. And then you can add some details. Let me find another one where, here we go. Well, I showed that one already, I think. So, like this. And it's just acrylic paint, leftover usually. Sometimes I'll... Uh, squeeze some paint out to do a little demo, but it's just whatever. 
Okay, so we're going to probably do some of that in the in that size today. All right, let's see who else. All right, so let's move this to the side. So there's the comp books. <clears throat> then the markers. I have taken these out of the packs. They come like this. So let's show you these. All right, so they're they're uh they're you know they're kind of the wide tip ones which you can use to do and i'll pull this out for some samples you can do um some calligraphy with them just a little bit fatter calligraphy okay so here are the basic colors which i they come like this they come in two separate little packs like this classic colors and bold and bright that's what it is i just wrote basic but it's the classic and the bold and bright and they come in this one big pack so i just wanted to show this i'm not saving any of these packaging so i wanted you to see it before they got recycled and uh, so the classic colors and the bold and bright colors here are the classic colors and the bold and bright I just put basic there's 20 in there so those are the colors that come in that set <laughs> yeah I, was trying to show more. I don't have a lot of these i have the the new skin tone ones you know the new skin tone uh all the different skin tone ones i forget how many are in that but i have those but i don't have a lot of these other colors so but we're, we'll pull um so there's that one and then this one is the bold and bright, which is the classic and the bold and bright. But to get the bold and bright, you had to have the classic. So anyway, and those are this set here. I just squatched them down just so you could see the colors. And, you know, this paper is the th probably the thinnest paper. It's even thinner than copy paper, uh, comp book paper. But if you, you know, that if you put uh, paint on both sides, look how flat it lays. It doesn't warp. You know, now this one, one of these fell apart a little more than the other. But, the, you know, when you put paint on both sides, it's look how flat it is. You know, it doesn't warp and wrinkle as much as you think, especially when you do both sides. Uh, but it is thin. It's very thin. It's the thinnest, probably the thinnest paper you can find. Yeah, I have the skin tone pencils and the markers and the Crayolas. So, yeah. Um, so, anyway, it's very thin. So, it does ghost, right? Even, even... Uh, these of course a sharpie is going to i have the sharpie colors here too that we're gonna show here in a minute the sharpie sharpie mystic gems and uh so you see sharpies go right through and then here's the sharpie s note which are the chisel tip i'll show those in a minute and say it goes through but especially these um so let's just go over here and i'll just do a little let's get a cool color Let's get maybe this pretty purpley color here. It's <clears throat> so you can, and, and here's the thing about them. Because they're, they're a point like this, you can get a fat line and you tilt it just a little. And you can get a thinner line and you tilt it straight up and you can get a thin line. So you can get a lot of different widths with these. So let's just see if I can do a little. So you can thick and thin, thick and thin. Crayola, I don't know if they're, um, they're just, uh, they're not called, they're not like super tips or anything. Let's do another with the blue. But they have the same kind of tip as a super tip, just bigger. Like, let me show you here. Mm -hmm. So see the super tips? They're the same tip, just one is bigger. They're like that pointy, chisely point. So let's see. Let's just do markers.
so you can get thick and thin so those are the colors and again the this set comes with bold and bright and classic in one box then the other box comes with bold and bright and classic is that what i said yeah bold and bright oh wait are they the same no they're different why are they they look the same huh let me look are they the same and they just box them differently because i was buying two different boxes but let's look basic colors and the bold and bright. Yeah, they are different. No, maybe they're the same. Maybe I bought two sets of the same. <laughs> I don't know. Because they're like, maybe one was like this and one was like that. Let me see the box. Look, it is the same, but they can't. Look at the different. Look at the difference. Would you have thought that those were the same? But this has the bold and bright behind it. Is that right? No. No. Yeah. It is the same. They just, look, they tricked you. They tricked you into buying two boxes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're the same. They just have them like one was behind the other. I <laughs> know, right? That's weird. But they're apparently the same when you take them out. There's two of the bold and bright, or the classic. And then there's the bold and bright. Look. <laughs> they're the same. They trick you by changing the cover of the box. No, they just changed the covers of the box and swap them out so that it looks like this when you buy them right it looks like this when you buy them but it's actually the same <laughs> gosh look bold and bright and classic oh my gosh okay well now we know I needed the bold and bright, and I just got them because there was I thought there were two different sets. Okay, well, they tricked me there, but that's all right. Well, they'll, they'll go to good use. I will use them. Okay, so let's see. Move that, and um, I probably need to take a thumbnail, so let me keep it handy. All right. <laughs> free, feel free to email. <laughs> yeah, don't email me. All right, so then let's go over here to the Sharpie S note. Okay. And I did go ahead and uh, take them out to um, make the make the colors and <laughs> put them back in the box so you can see what the box looks like. But uh, I will be taking them out of the box, just so you know. But um, so what these look like is, let's pull them up. Let's just take, uh, let's get a, maybe this pretty blue color. So these are all chisel tip. These are all chisel tip. Let me get over paper here. So here's what, here's what it looks like here. They're all chisel tip, although you can tr twist it, twist it to the side and do thin. Say, so you can do, you can do the chisel, you can do, a little bit thicker and then you can go up right on that right on the uh, point and get thin okay it's a to me it's a little trickier to get um, thin and thick lettering with this than it is with the other but that's just me all right who's texting Let's see do I need to move the phone um, okay. <clears throat> all right so there is that so these colors and they're all attached to the plastic which is nice, but I'm, you know it won't stay. So there's um, there's all these colors here, and um, they're just a little bit different shades. It looks like some of these greens look exactly the same, but they are one shade lighter than the other, which I think you can see. I think you can see it on. I want to take a thumbnail, so I don't want to take it all apart yet. So there we go. 
those, so those are called the S note. And there are, how many colors are in here? 24 colors. 24 colors in that. Of course, Sharpies, you know, they go through. They're going to go through the paper. Not These don't go through as much as, look at this, the, the regular Sharpie, pen, uh, Sharpie markers. They bleed right through. Okay, which I'm going to show you those next. If you have any questions, put it in caps. Okay, so the Sharpie, these are the Sharpie Mystic Gem colors, and they're just your regular basic Sharpie. So it's just your basic Sharpie marker. It's your basic Sharpie marker, but the colors are really cool. Um, Sharpies are, I'm, I would, I would say that they're alcohol ink. I don't know what oil ones are. I don't know if, I don't know of any oil, Tori. Do you mean water or alcohol? I'm not sure. I don't know what an oil marker is. Oil pencils, but I don't know what an oil marker is. So, but I like these colors. Those are, I just wrote them all with the colors just so you could see them all. So these are just your basic Sharpie marker. Fine, you know, they're, they call it a fine point, but they're not like a, the pen is a fine point to me. But they're not the broad tip, so they're called fine point. Okay, so these colors, and they come in this pack like this. And, uh, yeah. New colors. So I thought they were pretty. I have a lot of other Sharpies. I don't use them that often, but I like these colors. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, Tina. Well, that's because I was a calligrapher for so many years. Okay, so there's the Sharpie gems, uh, Mystic Gems. Then, let's see what else have I not opened. Let's put this in. I got Happy Mail to show y'all, too. I got that sitting right here. I got, I got three different people's mail in one envelope right there, so I kept it together. Okay, then I have, as y'all know, um, the Crystal Extra Smooth, and I have these also in um, purple. So let's take, did I take one of these out? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I think that's the same one. Yeah. So these are just your regular crystal Bit crystal. Now these are not the bold. These are the bold. And I'll show you the colors in these. <clears throat> so these are just your regular. And you usually have a little bit of uh, plastic on the tip there. So these are the crystal smooth. Extra smooth. I don't know that they're really any. I don't can't tell that they're any smoother than the other. But. You know, I always use, I use a lot of black pens, so. And then these are, I'm going to take them all out. These are the crystal bowls. They used, I believe, used to sell these in, like, see through, like a plastic, where you could see through it and just see all the colors. Now they put them in this. But I get, I get a pack of these every year as well. And although it does look like this teal color, it might be a new color. I don't remember seeing this color before. So, these are the extra, let me put this one back in here. So these are the extra bold, and they are, they do write thicker. So let's take off the little plastic tip. They keep that, hi Joe jo Jordan, they keep that there so that, um, you know, the pen probably either doesn't leak or it keeps it from drying out. But anyway, so this is kind of a... They're just thicker. The bold ones, the bold ones are, is it a 1.6? 1. 1. These are a 1.6. And so there's that color green and this green. Let's take off the, whoops, just pulled it right out. Let's pull off the little plastic, the little rubber that they put on the tips. If you ever get one of these and it's not right, you go, oh, I forgot to take the little rubber off the edge. Um. Oh. Oh, hi, Uncle Dan. You you changed your name this morning, Uncle Dan. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay, so it is a little different green. One is, and it may not show up on camera. 
This one's a little bit green, like grass green. This one's just a little bit of more of a teal green. It's not showing up on camera very well as a color, um, but they write thicker, okay? So let me show you all the colors. Let me just take off the little tips here. Okay, there's a blue. And these are fun to draw and sketch with. I, you all see me draw tons of stuff with just a regular black Bic, but these are really fun to, to sketch with and uh, just draw anything you would normally draw, but sketch. Here's the thing about uh, the Bic pens is, believe it or not, with the pen, you can get thick and thin. I already think I already took this one off. You can get thick and thin lines. Like here, let's go a couple pages over. These are the Bic extra bold okay so <clears throat> i'm not very zoomed in put my wife's account she says she can do on youtube <laughs> well uh, welcome welcome uh, mr and mrs <laughs> uh, so let me kind of just hold it up so you can get you can get so thick and thin and you can do actually can shade you can actually shade with these ballpoint pens if you've never tried it you know like i said i've done a lot of it with the black one but it's it's very fun to uh play with the colors let's do a little bit of here so you see you can you can really get light lines and shade with it uh, and of course you've seen blue red and black let's do the two pinks let's take off the little tip dark pink and light pink and there is a difference again it may not show up very much on camera but this is more magenta and that's more pink so again you can get a lot of variation in your line trying to you know it's hard to do when you're holding it up in the air but i think you get the idea of how you can get thin and thick with the with the ballpoint pen all right so those are the colors from the um, bold and colorful, which I think, like I said, I think this is a new color. The magenta might be a new color too. So I try to buy a pack of these every year and, you know, I do this, some sketching with them. I did, um, well, I, I don't want to try to pull something else out right now. All right, so there's those. Well, let me try to take them off the table here because I'm going to need room. And I want to take a thumbnail in a little bit. Okay, so these, the Sharpie S gel, uh, I already took one out and put it with my other draw writing um, project. So anyway, um, these are so smooth. I wrote, I'll do some over here. It's here. They just write. They just glide. Janet, if you haven't, uh, these might be a little thick for Janet. Let me see. Let me zoom in one here. These might be a little thick for Janet. She likes very, very fine line. These are a 7.7, .7, but they're just so smooth. They just, they really do glide. They're very glidey. And um, now while it's wet, and look, it's not even smearing while it's wet. So that's good. Now, I'm, I know, I'm sure they're not waterproof, but um, I haven't tested them, but I will. But they're so smooth. And they they come in, as far as I could tell, they're all exactly the same. Um, there's a black barrel, a blue barrel, and a white barrel. And there's four in a pack. Like I said, I took one out here. As far as I can tell, they're all exactly the same. Black ink, medium, 0 0.7, S-Gel. I think they're, they're all exactly the same 
smooth like butter. <laughs> yeah. Um, they just have different barrel colors. So, um, but they really are very smooth. Let me do a little water test here. Um, I'm going to do it on something that's a little thicker than this because this is this paper is very, very thin. So let's just do it on a piece of regular um, copy paper. Let's see what happens. Okay, now let me get a water brush. Find one with water in it. Has this one got water? Yeah. Okay, so see, they're not waterproof. Okay. But they write smooth. They write very smooth. Hi, Devin. Anybody else coming in I missed? <laughs> oh, my God. So... Yeah, but they, they just write so smooth. So smooth. They just they really do just glide over the over the paper. So that's those. Hello, Dawn. Well, I just now saw you, Dawn, and you're not in caps. So uh, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Galena. Good morning. Stephanie. We got 0.5 on Amazon, but hated them. The seven was smoother than the five. I don't think I've tried the seven. I mean, the five, Stephanie. Um, I, I think these are new. <laughs> Either they're new or they just got new barrels, you know. Um, so anyway, there's that. So there's those. Then we got... These um, just plain old mechanical pencils. And I'm going to be honest, the reason I got them was because of the cute erasers. <laughs> they give you extra erasers and refills. These are my favorite drawing pencils. I'm just going to, I love these, just these little uh, plain paper mate, sharp writer, number two pencil. They're disposable. So you twist them when they run out, they're out. And I always put a white eraser on it because the red erasers, and these may too, leave uh, leave marks, but the white uh, plastic ones don't. So I always put a white eraser on my pencils, but I love drawing with these. I don't draw with them on camera because you can't see it. So when I'm sketching and drawing and just want to do a, an outline of something or, you know, whatever, um, you know, I want to sketch out. You know, some trees here. So, you know, you can't you can't see it on camera. So I usually use a pen or something, you know, Conti crayon or something darker so you can see it on camera. But when I'm sketching in my sketchbook where I'm going to want to paint on it or do something else with it, I use this. You know, if I'm going to sketch out, a, you know, something lightly in my sketchbook, this is what I this is what I use. I just don't do it on camera because you can't see it. So mechanical pencils. Let's just pull one out because I haven't. I want to take a thumbnail picture before I, you know, get rid of all the packaging. But there's all kinds of uh, replacement erasers and the refill. So let's take out one and let's just see. They should just be a number two pencil. Oh, they should just be. Let's see how do they. All right. Let's see. Does this slide? Oh, you got to click this down. Oh, okay. So here, this is the clicker here. So on this one, you just twist. These are just twistables, right, to get out the lead. These are twistables. These you just push down on this right here. See? And then I guess if you hold it in, you can probably mash it back in. Yeah. So then the eraser, let's see what this eraser is like. Okay, seems seems okay. It's not leaving. It's not leaving any mark. I just don't trust colors <laughs> erasers, but it seems to be okay. So yeah, they're just uh, regular number two pencils, you know. But you're going to be able to write light with you know thin and and sketch lightly with them, which is what I like. So I thought I'd give these a try again. Pen and gear. They're they're not colors. They're just graphite, right? And then they give you some refills. So. I'm not sure how do you put it in the, yeah, just like a, it's just kind of like my graph gear. You put the lead in where the eraser is and they all drop down in there. And then after it runs out, the next one drops down. 
So yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of kind of cute. They're kind of cute. <laughs> Hi Beverly. Dawn, who else? I'm probably missing some people coming in. Welcome everybody. So yeah, so I got these and again, they sold me on the cute little eraser replacements. <laughs> and they have the refills, so you can refill these. So I imagine, because I have all colors, though. Uh, I'm not sure if them, I'd have to test. This may be a, it's a number two pencil, but I'm not sure if it's a five, um, a point five lead. It doesn't say. I'd have to test it because most of the leads I buy are sevens for my graph gear and other things. So I have lots of different color leads. So if I wanted to put in another color, you know, I'm real big on the blue so I can test to see if the, it would fit in there. That'd be awesome. So I have all these different colors of lead. You know, so. All right. So, and again, none of this, I don't think anything, maybe the markers were $6 and change, but I don't think anything else was over five. These were probably three something. You know, they're, they're really inexpensive. You know, Graph Gear is a good, you know, bargain brand. Mm. all right so um okay tina i know you couldn't stay so thanks for stopping in if you can't stay tina's got a, uh, her, her mom's got an appointment today so she just stopped in for a few minutes thanks for stopping in hi muffy kate it's been a while okay so now this i don't know is, is this going to be complicated <laughs> Twist and sharp pencil sharpener. I left in the package because I wanted you to see. Look, adjustable pencil tips, ratchet mechanism, color pencil compatible. So we'll see what how complicated this is. <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, don't don't complicate me. I, if I I want a, a you know pencil sharpener, nothing fancy. <laughs> But here's the reason I got it is because it's self-contained. You can contain. So I do have um, a notebook that I bought. I haven't shown y'all that. So if we go, uh, you know, we're going to take a couple of family trips this summer. And uh, and when I do, by the way, um, like I'll probably be gone a week in August. I'll let y'all know um, uh, if I'm gone that week, the next week, you know. So, but anyway, the reason I got this is because... It, you can, the, it holds the stuff in there. So this has a little adjuster here. So let's see. I think this it just moves two. It just moves. There's only two places for it to move. So I'm thinking that's what adjusts inside here because it's green, green. So they want you to know that that goes together. <laughs> Hi, Carla, Jilly, anybody else? So when you sharpen it with this and then you twist it and it's probably sharpens like blunter, you know, stubbier and longer. So we're going to do, we'll use a color pencil to test. So let's see if that's all there is to it, except uh, I'm not sure where to open it. How to open it to empty it. Where do you open it to empty it? Say, so this is what I'm talking about. Where's the... Ah, here we go. I think this, I, I think I figured it out. Here we go. Bam. <laughs> so there's where it opens up uh, to empty it out. Oh, I think my mail's popping up. Let me get rid of that. I'm going into pre-withdrawals. You have a life beyond us. <laughs> yeah, Rachel. Only, uh, you know, uh, I really haven't been... I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys, in 11 years, I think I've missed maybe two weeks. <laughs> I don't really know. It'll be 11 years in uh, in November. And there's only been a couple of weeks where I've been gone a full week, you know. Uh, most of the times if we do something, it's just like I can leave on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, come back and I'm, I'm back by Monday. So most of the things that we do are two or three days. And I, you know, do that um, after Wednesday and before Monday. So, uh, but there, I'm going to probably make a couple of trips this summer where I'm gone a week. So y'all are just going to have to get your Society of Idea Collector homework out and really step up your game. I, I still will have my phone with me. 
That doesn't mean that I won't be checking up on you. <laughs> Just if I miss a couple streams. So if I miss a couple streams, that doesn't mean I'm not watching y'all on Instagram. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Juanita. And good morning, by the way. So anyway, um, hi, Fernando. So there, there you go. That just snaps open. That's kind of cool. I like that. So let's sharpen a let's sharpen a color pencil. Let me get a color pencil that's not very sharp. Let me find one that's not sharp. Well, they're all pretty sharp, so let's see. All right, so here, this red one is pretty not sharpened, right? All right, so first, let's go ahead and try it on the one that's on the left, which that one has a point, and this one has a like a like a round. So let's try let's try with the point. I mean, you can barely see it there. There's see the little point, and then right there's a little round. So let's try both of these. Okay. Yes. Eye in the sky, Rachel. All right. So let's go ahead and try this one. Okay. So this is kind of a long, long point, right? I sharpen it pretty well. Now I don't want to snap this down and make the dull one. So let me get another pencil. Let's see. Okay. Mm, all right, so now let's twist it to the side here to the other one. All right, let's see what happens with that. And we'll compare the two. That's your favorite sharpener. I have seven of them, <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. And don't follow Ashley Colors. Follow her. She does videos as well. Uh, I haven't seen you use seven. I mean, I'm not saying you don't. <laughs> That's funny, though. Okay, so what is the difference? I can't tell the difference. What is the difference? <laughs> they look exactly the same. Did I not twist it all the way over? I did. What the? What's the difference, people? Ashley. You have seven of these. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? They look exactly the same, don't they, to you guys? I don't know. I mean, I don't care. It sharpens, but it's just the idea. What's the what's the big deal about this if it doesn't change anything? I don't know. What does that do? <laughs> I don't know what that does. Oh, let's see. I missed something from Annie. Congratulations, Annie. I don't know what happened. Oh, you're on retirement. Well, welcome, Annie, on retirement. Yeah, they look the same to me, too. Yeah, no training on sharpener, <laughs> Rachel. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so they look the same. I don't know. Maybe Ashley, you need to do something on your uh, video. You need to you need to give us a twist and sharp tutorial. Do it. Give us a twist and sharp tutorial, Ashley, on your videos. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it's a boss stitch twist and sharp. Okay. Is there just a concern? <laughs> well, it did, but it it works, and I can put it in my. Uh, you know, I showed y'all. If y'all missed it a, a week before last, I think I showed you my travel. Now I gotta say, when I was up with Cameron, he got some of he did get some of my Japanese uh, brush pens out of here. He did. He got some of my pens out of here. I mean, I gave them to him. He didn't take them. So um, yeah. So this is my travel uh, little travel thing. So um, I guess I'll put that in in my travel there. So. I got this prepared for travel, all right? And I'll show you my sketchbook, travel sketchbook. Um, yeah, so Cameron did do a, he did uh, work on something. We watched some videos together, some art videos, and uh, uh, here's one of the things. So he was working on this right there. So that's working on that. And then uh, he had this one. I said, let me take a picture. So he just held it up. So let me show you this one that he did here. There's that one. So, yeah. But anyway, um, he got a couple of my brush pens. So I'm going to have to, I'll have to replace those. <laughs> um, okay. So there we go with that. 
All right. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I got a couple more things to show. Okay. So the next thing, that, um, other than the notebook that I bought, I got. Um, let's do it. Let's do a. We'll have to do a sniff test. I need a. I need. Let me just take a sheet of paper out of here because I'm going to need. If I'm going to. One, two, three, four, five. If I'm going to sniff them, I'm going to have to have them on different pieces of paper or they're all going to run together like Fruit Loops. Y'all know a lot of times these things smell like Fruit Loops. <laughs> I haven't smelled these. So we're going to do a test with each one of these. All right. Hi, Lisa. Let's see. Brenda. Anybody else I'm missing? Uh, Sue. Okay, so let's go and bust into the Elmers. These are the purple ones, and I use these, and we're going to use that today in a little, um, what do you call it? Uh, we'll do a little collage in this instead of doing them in these. We're going to do it in this today. So I pulled out a couple of supplies. So, all right, let's see. Let's go ahead and open up the Elmers. I should have taken my thumbnail before I well, into all the box, but that's okay. All right, so these are all going to be, and I'm going to leave them in here so I can take a picture. Can I get them back in there? How are they in there? Oh, they're just sitting there. Okay. Never mind. So these are just your regular purple, you know, glue. And these work fine. You know, my like I said, my favorite is the, the Yoohoo glue, but yeah, I have to order that. You can't, I can't find it in any stores, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or none of that. I mean, I'm sure I could find it at Blick, but I haven't been to Blick since before the virus. So um, <laughs> I could order the Yoohoo on uh, Amazon, but anyway, these, these were a couple of, you know, just a couple of dollars on uh, at Walmart. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's get out the, let's get out the different, uh, sense and see what they and see if they really have a different smell right <laughs> all right the first one watermelon and I, again let's go ahead and okay they're all clear it's clear glue i probably don't even need to do this because it's not going to show up yep it is watermelon i'm just going to sniff them that does smell like watermelon so there's watermelon blueberry yeah, it does smell like it. Now, how long does it last on a piece of paper? Let me just go ahead and put some on a piece of paper here and just see, you know, I mean, is it just while you're using it? It actually doesn't smell as much on the paper as it does just right when you sniff it on here, right? But, uh, yeah, blueberry muffin, and this one was watermelon. Let's just, I'm going to set this to the side and see in an hour if it still has scent. Okay, I'll set that to the side. All right, uh, next we have chocolate brownie, chocolate brownie in a in a in a pink in a in a teal. Um, this one's a little harder to. Yeah, it smell. I can smell it when I got it started. It smells like you when you open a candy bar, right? That's what it smells like. I don't know why they didn't, I guess they didn't think a brown one, that a brown one would be that as attractive as that teal color. All right, next we have mango pineapple. Let's get a different one here. Yeah, mango. I don't smell any pineapple. Just smells like mango. So there's mango pineapple. I don't know why I'm showing you this. <laughs> can't see it all right then let's put something here let's just put that book there so it doesn't okay then we have a sugar cookie sugar cookie let's see um i don't know is that what a sugar cookie smells like Maybe I could just have the still have the chocolate scent in my nostrils. <laughs> um, I don't know about that one. Okay, let's see. This one is apple pie. The green one is apple pie. It's does it smell like apple? It doesn't. 
Oh, well, it kind of smells a little cinnamon. Cinnamon y up. <laughs> it's apple pie. So again, I just thought it would be fun. It'd be fun to test some. Hi, Edgy. Anybody else popping in? I miss. So so it came with those. It came with those six and then six. Oh, five. Sorry. No, there should be another one. Was there only five of these? Maybe five of those and six of those. I didn't think see one roll away. So yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought it came with six of each. Okay, so six regular with the purple, the purple that dries clear, by the way. When you use the purple, it does dry clear. And then the scented ones. So I'll probably just, you know, pick up one of these when we're working in the uh, when we're working in the little um, what do you call it? Um, comp books. Okay. Then I got a backup for this one. So this I got for travel tonight. <laughs> Am I really going to use this? I don't know, guys, but I got it. Okay. Then we're going to show happy mail. All right. So I got this notebook. I'm going to show you. This is on the this is the cover on the binder. Let me move this here. It's big, so that's why I'm backed up. You're going to see how big this is. It's a double binder. I see frequent stops for this house it becomes hungry from selling the glue. <laughs> Juanita. Okay, so I got this to put my papers in to make this like a travel sketchbook. Now, <laughs> y'all going to go, oh my gosh, for real? And I don't know that I'm really going to take this on the road, right? <laughs> I might just take a regular sketchbook. But I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for school supplies. I love me some school supplies. I always bought the kids. All, I mean, I love anything they want in school supplies every year. Uh, it was fine with me. Trapper keepers back in the day. And then, you know, more fancier binders. And when I saw this, and I'm not going to lie, this was not cheap. This was like 25 bucks at Walmart. It was like 25 bucks. It's called a K-Set. And look, look at the packaging. <laughs> packaging. It's, it's a dual notebook. Okay. It's a dual. It's a dually. It's a dually. <laughs> okay. It's a dually. And the dually even comes with its own strap. Its own carrying strap, which I never use these things. But <laughs> Sorry, now my eyes are watering from laughing. Hi, Jane. Um, okay, so it comes with its own strap, and it's it's a dually case it. Okay, this is on the cover. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making myself laugh so hard. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. This is what it looks like. This is my back way out. Okay, this was on the cover when I bought it. And it's, look how thick it is. It's like, let me get, <laughs> Shannon's probably rolling her eyes so hard right now. Okay, let me go ahead and measure the side. The side is like, I think it's like four inches. Four, almost five? Five inches? Yeah. Five. It's five inches thick on the side. And it does have a handle. So it has a handle, so I won't use the strap. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, um, let's go through all the features, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> so it has this on the front here. So, you know, just a little, little short pocket here. I, I could see you putting your phone in there or something. If you're a student, you could put your phone in there. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know a student that's going to buy this. I'm just going to be honest. There, I don't know a student in the world is going to buy this. Because for one, do students need this much space anymore? You know, they, they probably barely have a, a notebook that's that thick, right? If they carry around paper, it's going to be a notebook that's that thick. <laughs> what did Arlene say? It's a mutant brass. <laughs> right, Arlene? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So then it has a zipper. It has a zipper that goes all the way around. Let me Let me find it here. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. The zipper was nice and smooth. Okay, so you can see it's got a nice zipper that closes it all up. Okay, 
nice zipper and it's real smooth i mean it's just like you know very smooth all right so here we go so i've already got some paper in it so let me open it up to the middle here okay so here's the middle okay this is for the tabs i'll show you that in a minute so it's got two sections look how much space you got so these d rings they're the big d rings they're not little tiny d rings like it's in a little trapper keeper baby uh-uh <laughs> <laughs> it's got the big d rings i love d rings because everything lays flat in a d ring yes it's smooth art students will love this well it may be art students but the, even so you know art students they probably have to either have a little sketchbook that they have to carry around all day long and sketch or they got those giant pads of newsprint and stuff right <laughs> But I thought this might be fun for travel. Again, will I actually use it when we hit the road? I don't know. But I got to show you what I have planned, right? Maybe I can, let's see. Maybe can I zoom in one or is that going to be? Okay. Yeah, I think I can zoom in one. Get rid of the glare on the side. <laughs> All right. So on this side, we have a Velcro ASMR moment. So, and the Velcro, this expands. All right, so the paper was not in here. I put paper in it. So let me show you. So this right here is a hard, let me go and open it. This is a hard, you know, it, it, to hold your paper in, it's like chipboard inside, right? So you got this little feature here, again, maybe for your phone, I don't know, you know, maybe some pencils. It's really, you can't fit a lot in there because of the hardness of the backing, you know, not too much is going to fit in there. You could get a pencil or two. Really what I like about this is it holds the paper. That's my main thing. And then the back, you've got a couple of pouches here. You could put in, like I could, you know, slip in a, one of these, right? Like that. For easy access. <laughs> Oh, it would probably be good for family. Well, wait, you see, there's more features yet to come, Terry. More features yet to come. Hang on. <laughs> so it's got those pockets. Again, the reason I like this is because it holds this. So here are just, this is just regular um, copy paper, the kind with the three ring, you know, that's punched. So you can see I've got in here probably about over an inch worth of paper in here. And then this will just hold it in place. It'll hold it in place because it's got the Velcro strap, right? So that ain't going nowhere. Your paper is secure in there, right? Plus you got your zipper that's going to go shut everything in. So that holds my regular, just plain sketch paper. Sketch paper. If this thing cooks. <laughs> oh my gosh, where'd it go, Rachel? Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> a coffee table binder <laughs> you guys are so funny um and hope she's not lying not flying no 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 this would be in the car this would be a this is road trip this is road trip material <laughs> no i would not even think about taking this or this i'm not i wouldn't even take this on a plane if i was gonna fly which i'm not <laughs> it would be in just a little pouch right Okay, so here's where the straps, they, they got this here and this here. So that's where your strap would uh, attach, you know, your little clip here. So if you want to, which I'm not going to use the strap. That's, that's, that, I'm just not going to do it, right? But that's where it would attach. All right, so then on this side, all right, again, same size D-ring. And again, this is hard. Again, this is to holding your paper. So on this side, I got cardstock. Okay. <clears throat> on this side, I got cardstock. So not as much, but this is cardstock. So if I want to do something heavier, markers or um, watercolor or ink, something, you know, other than sketching, this side's got the sketch paper. This car, this has got the cardstock side. Now, here we go. Terry, Terry, look at this. You got an expandable file. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with this is I thought I would take a few of my works in progress. 
I'll take a few of my works in progress to work on maybe. I just pulled a few just to give you an example. And I can put those in here because they don't have punch. They're not punched, right? So I can put those in my work in progress or some collage fodder. So I could put some collage fodder in there. See, look, Terry goes, I need one. <laughs> Yes, exactly, Devin. So I can put my collage fodder in the files. And then this, it, it also comes in this little zipper thing. You get some of the little, um, you know, tabs to put, to slip in your, uh, if you want to compartmentalize, organize, you know, tab everything, right? <clears throat> so in this pocket, this one's real stretchy and you got a lot of room. But what's nice is, again, this is hard. There's a pocket here so that it holds your paper in place okay it holds your paper in place so here's another velcro strap there's a little dot here and this all velcros down so it's all velcro it's all it's all snug in there so it can't move okay so yes so there we go <laughs> this would be my little traveling studio y'all <laughs> y'all thought collage fodder yeah so anyway, and then I also, just to make sure that I had enough pockets, I bought some extra ones. <laughs> so I bought an extra pack of pockets, uh, you know, for either some more collage fodder. And again, I could put these on either side, you know, put them in here on this side or in the back, probably in the back. You know, same thing, or in the back of this one, like here. <clears throat> All right, come on, come on, stuff there. We go. There we go. Put it in the back of this because I didn't put a lot of, um, I didn't put a lot of, uh, about an inch of cardstock. And then look, there's pockets here too. So let's go ahead and put this. Let's see how this fits. If it fits nicely. So they're not. They've got pockets, so let's just go ahead and put a couple at a time. Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll fit. I was wondering if it was going to, um, you know, fit uh, with the tabs, but it does. So I can put these in here. So if I want to put, you know, any other projects or collage fodder or anything like that in these little pockets. So because there's pockets on the front and the back. Pa pockets on the front and the back. Let's see if I can get those last four in. Okay, there we go. So there we go, like that. Let's move the cardstock back over. What do y'all think? Y'all think it might be something? <laughs> it's probably going to be way too, too much, really. All right, so now let's get the Velcro strap. And that's Velcro down. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. And, and look how it closes. See, look at all the room in the middle there. So nothing touches. See how the see how they don't touch? They they they're right next to each other. So there we go. Let's zip it up. <clears throat> I can find the zipper. <laughs> no, it's in there. It is. There we go. Isn't that cool? See how it's at an angle? So there's my case it. It's impressive. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. And hi, by the way. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And then there's the case. Of course, it, it weighs a ton. You know, it's got, you know, two pounds of paper inside. But anyway, so that's what it, this is what it looks like if you go to Walmart or, or probably Target or anywhere that sells school supplies. It looks like this. It's a case it, the dually, the dually. <laughs> there you go. So that's what it looks like. All right, so let's do some happy mail. Got some happy mail here. <clears throat> I use one for genealogy and one for art projects. Do you have some of these, Kathleen? Do you have these? Do leaves? 
or you would use them for that. Yeah. They're like, they're like $25, $26 at Walmart. Then I don't know what they are at Target. Maybe they're cheaper online. Okay. So first off, let me show you. I got a couple of things here. This is from Arlene. So Arlene sent me, she says, I hope you like this. And of course I do, Arlene. So I kept it wrapped up until um, I got back from the post office. So look, she made me one of her little, one of her little uh, domino dolls. Look, look how cute this is. <laughs> so look at that. Look, she's got paint brushes for the arms, little paint brushes for the arms. She's got little pull tabs for the feet. Does it actually stand up? I don't know. I bet I could make it stand up. Probably, look, it does stand up. It's just so clever. It's just so clever, made out of a domino body. And then it's got a little skirt and then the yarn hair, the little uh, floss hair and the paintbrush arms and the little clock on there. Isn't it adorable? I think, I think that looked like a Mona Lisa in there, but I can't tell. But, uh, <laughs> You have the old trapper keepers, Kathleen? Yeah, I think I have one old trapper keeper around here somewhere. And, uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Arlene. I love look how cute that is. Right, guys? Uh, <laughs> so that's from Arlene. Let me keep her note there. Okay, then. <clears throat> then from um, Sharon Lombard, I got this. She sent me a note here and she said, Hi, Dee Dee. I wanted to send you a little something for creating my beautiful collage. Thank you so much. I hope you like her. And cat, oh, and the cat bead dangle that she made. So she made me a couple things in here. So she made, and I think she made one of these for, I'm pretty sure, um, what do you call it? Um, Mary, Mary Autier. So look, they're little journal jewelry, journal jewelry, right? You hang them on your on your journals. So look, she's so cute. Look how she moves. So I've got a little little uh, dancing ballerina. Look how she moves. <laughs> the little little clasp here to hang on your um to hang on your journal. And then she sent this one for the journal, journal jewelry. And she put a little cat. Let's see, where is he? There it is. A little white cat. Look, because you know, I have my white cats. Look how cute. So, and y'all know I have plenty of, uh, have plenty of uh, journals to hang these on. So I love that. Let me get the little cat. There it is. I know so much talent for sure. So let's kind of hang it so you can kind of see it dangles. See? So thank you so much, Sharon. I love that. I know, right? Right, Makola? Because I got tons of um, travelers, you know, TNs that all have the strap on it that I can hang it from. <clears throat> so, and I like to interchange them. I interchange my uh, my uh, ju uh, journal jewelry all the time. So there's that. So let me put this in my little thing so I can keep it together till I put it on a journal. And then the last thing I got here, hang on. <clears throat> read the little note here. And this is from Raquel. Raquel um raga 360 i.e the lurker so raga raquel look at this guys <laughs> said i was shopping at joanne's this weekend and i saw this and that had to have a home in your kitchen so it's a kitchen towel <laughs> So thanks, Raquel. It goes, it goes so well. It 
<laughs> with his bra. <laughs> Julie, she said she got it at Joanne's. <laughs> she said she got it at Joanne's, but isn't that so cool? <laughs> so yeah, it's uh it's a towel <laughs> with Grogu. I just love that. So thank you so much, Raquel. Thanks, thanks, Arlene, and thanks, Sharon. Oh my gosh, that was just too fun. That was too fun. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What is next? What is next here that I had? Um, okay, maybe we, I've done all the show and tell. No, let me check my phone again. So I think Denise was messaging me. Uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So the family stuff is funny. Okay. So again, I showed you all these little uh, notebooks. I can go ahead and zoom back in again that I've worked in, you know, over the different years. And it's, I don't even know how old these are. I don't know if I have a date in them. No date in that one. So they're just little desk journals that I sit on my desk. And when there's little bits of collage, lab, <coughs> collage or uh, paint, and I would just throw it in these little mini, mini um, comp books, right? I just did a flip of, through them a minute ago. So, uh, but I just thought that these now are just a little bit bigger and would serve the same purpose, but have a little bit more real estate to work in right so you know if you have something small or and i y'all know i've used, used the leather ones from barnes and noble one a year for i don't know how many years for the same purpose and i've shown them a whole bunch of times i'm not going to pull them down right now but i just wanted to show you that little composition books like this once you get paint on the front and the back and uh I'm not, I don't varnish them so you can see some of them are shiny and some of them, you know, where the paint is dull and a couple of the pages have started to fall out. I just tape them back in, <coughs> but they're pretty good about staying put together, but it's just fun to have something where you can just glue little bits of leftovers in and then go back and throw paint on it and then go back and add some more detail if you want. So that's what we're going to do in this in this okay mm. all right let me take a sip of my juice let me move all these other glue sticks out of the way and just keep one here we'll just use glue stick although i do have some matte medium out but uh, i think we'll just try to use glue stick because that's usually the quickest and when i do something in these little books like this it's not meant to be you know, like they're not going to be varnished. Look, this is how they start out with just little bits of whatever, little images, whatever's left over. So this is what they start as. And then I paint them out or paint them in with different things. Just to play, just to have a place to put that extra kind of like our magazine, our mini magazine journals, same kind of thing <coughs> where you just throw in leftover scraps and then paint and play. Okay, I know, right, Annie Mame? And good morning, by the way. Can't believe July is almost over. I know. Uh, let's see. Dollar Tree has three for a dollar. The uh, these are these. Three for a dollar of these, Riri, or these. I got these. These these are the uh, pin and gear from Walmart. These are I don't know what brand these are. There, I've had these for quite a bit of years. I did not see these at Walmart this year. Okay. So hi, Ashley. Anybody else popping in? Okay. So what I did is I just started by gluing in a couple of uh, just a little bit of landscape here and I cut out some fish. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and get some um, wax paper to put behind because you don't want to glue your pages shut. 
the paint. Oh, let me show you this. Denise brought this back when she went out to Texas a couple weeks ago. <laughs> she brought this back from my mom. This is this is me at 13. <laughs> that was me at 13. <laughs> uh, it was sitting next to my uh, map me. I mean, my thing over there. So, so yeah. And I know you can't see it, but I, yeah, I do. I have one of those, you know, those, I don't know if you can see it. Those ribbons, those colorful ribbons, you know, those they're yarn ribbons, yarn ribbons. Look, my hair's pinned up or tied up with those yarn ribbons. Can barely see it right there. <laughs> oh, so anyway, that was sitting over there. Okay, so I cut out some little fish just to put on here too. And then I'll go ahead and paint. I got a baby wipe here. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and put some wax paper. So we can paint without gluing the book shut. All right. And then I've cut out these little fish that I'm going to add on here in a minute. Then I just pulled out some different pieces of some, you know, different things I could use for some um, landscape some watches over here. I pulled out our antiquarian sticker book because we haven't used this in a while. I've used it quite a bit, as you can see, but we haven't used it in a while. So maybe I'll pull some of that out. have a couple of uh, watches and clocks. So we'll see some of this. I just want to just kind of play in it just to show you, you know, that you can play in these little books. Oh, I just got an email from Domestica, and it's offering three courses for, oh, I don't know how much that is, Fernando. Um, RS99, I'm not sure how much that is in Brazil. Yeah, they're usually, you can get good deals on Domestica. I'm telling you all, guys, if you have not looked at Domestica courses, now, again, most of them are in Spanish. Most of them are in Spanish with subtitles. Doesn't bother me. But they are awesome classes, and they run, the, the most expensive one I've ever seen is $19.99, but they always go on sale for $14.99, and then like Fernando said, there's three, four, I don't know what the U.S. equivalent is of his Brazilian amount there, but it's, uh, yeah, it's for you guys almost nothing, <laughs> yeah, probably, you know, it probably under 20 bucks for three classes. And they're, you know, they're a good amount of class. I mean, they're an hour, a couple hours each, maybe. I'm not sure they're different, different ones, you know, but they always, I don't, I don't, I've never seen a bad review and there's just so many, like just so many, you know. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get some paint. So let's see, let me get a, let me get a paint with here. Probably a bucket of stars, and I might need a card to smooth things down with. And let's see. Oh. All right. So let's see what colors I got here. So what I what you you know what you can do is whatever you know pieces of scrap you have left. You know, and I just stripped these off of a calendar just to, you know, have something to play with this morning. But um, then you just kind of match your colors. Again, if you've not done the magazine journaling where you take old magazines and you can either cut them apart and pile them up and glue them together or just use a regular old, just take a regular old art magazine or scenery magazine and try to play with your acrylic paints. <clears throat> Again, I just use craft paints. And, uh, uh oh, where'd my little fish go? Oh, there they are. Um, <clears throat> just use your craft paints and, uh, and, and play with it. So let's see. Um, I think my, that, my black paint was run out. So I'm going to get this big one here. I had a smaller one, but put out a little black for some stars. 
Okay, I haven't used this one for a while. Let's just pour it out of the top. There we go. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Let's see. Tommy Joe, Tina Riley, anybody else coming in? All right, let's put some white in here. Always make sure and shake up your paints really well because the oils can settle, especially if you haven't used them in a while. I, I use them, you know, many times a week, but... All right, so I'm going to just move this over here for a minute. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just play with this. And, again, you may seem a little wrinkly at first, but I'm telling you, when you by the time you put something on the back and the front, it lay, look how flat that is. Can you all see how flat those pages are or this one? They're really, really flat. This one's kind of falling apart, but I think you get the idea. All right, so let's go ahead and start by painting. Oh, well, I'm going to get a little bit of, I think, do I want a little bit of blue-green, maybe? What color? Maybe a teal color. I'll get a couple colors of blue. Because I, I have no real plan yet. I'm just going to... Let's see. I'm going to open this one up. And I just see one sitting right over there already open, but. <clears throat> so it's just nice to have a little something to, oh, I didn't get that open all the way. Uh, it's nice to have just a little, some, little uh, what do you call it? Little cheap books to throw your, come on, it shouldn't be that hard to open. There we go. To play in. All right, so there's a couple of blues. And uh, all right, so I'm just going to start by starting with the sky. What I'm going to do is paint this in in the landscape, and then I'm going to put some fish on it because <laughs> I already cut the fish out just to start. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by. And then we'll do a giveaway here in a little bit. So if you're still here, I'll do an international and a, what do you call it, a U.S. And again, it, it's going to wrinkle, warp a little bit. But by the time you paint the back side, it will flatten out. It does flatten out. But this is the thinnest paper that is made, <laughs> pretty much. You know, it's very, very thin, uh, comp book paper is. But then it's not precious. It's not so precious. You can just get in here and throw some paint and some little pieces of collage down and not be, you know, think, oh, I messed it up, you know. It's just a little cheap composition book. All right. So, I need a pencil sharpener and a compo. <laughs> what else do I need? A pencil sharpener and a, and a composition book? Um, I would say, you know, if you're just starting out in art journaling, get you some, these, you know, you can get a, a little craft paints for a dollar, a dollar 25, depending, sometimes they're on sale. But you can get so many colors for so inexpensive, you know. Um, all right, let me... Um, let me clean my brush out on that. Just to get some of that black paint out before I start coming into here. So now what I'm going to do is just pick up a couple of these colors here. And I just want to kind of make it like some water coming across here like. Because <clears throat> I'm going to put those fish coming out of here. Got a little water still in my brush. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of blend in some of this little pieces of uh, collage down here. Any little areas where the paper's torn, I'll just kind of blend it in.
the torn paper, you put a little bit of acrylic paint on it, and it just blends right in. We'll just get rid of that torn edge. Maybe a little more dark blue up here. Okay, now I'm going to water down my paint here for my little bucket of stars. Get a floppy brush. Water that down. Tap most of it off. I want some even smaller. So some of it can be the foam in the water, some of it can be the stars. Just the more you tap it, the smaller the dots will become. Okay. All right, let's dry this. <clears throat> Hello, Heather. Yes, I'm making a scene. I always like to make a scene. <laughs> all right, so I think I can remove these now because I'm not painting all the way to the edge anymore. Dots take a minute to dry. They're probably still not dry, but I'm going to give it a second here. All right, now what I want to do is I already cut out some fish. And it took me about 10 minutes to cut these out. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not quite 10 minutes, but I wanted to cut something out to give you an example here so you didn't have to watch me cut all, because, you know, if I'm going to cut something else out. All right, let's see. Let me move this and get some orange. Get some pencil here. Oh, uh, maybe I want to watch. Let's see. Maybe a bit of a time planet. Let's see. Do I want those colors? Oh, here's a green one. Maybe this green one will go with the fish. Let's see. Or... Kind of like maybe the blue one. The blue one would probably stand out better. Let's go with the round one. Okay, so I'll just cut one of these down. And the... Um, what do you call it? I'm not going to use it on this one, but I want to show you. If you use a watch that has all the dials and stuff on it, these make good arches, doors, and portals. So if you save the save the outer ring, all right. So I'm going to cut this down like this. Now I'm going to cut in and cut out the blue part. I already have the fish motif in mind, but I want to show you that you can you can take the outer ring of the watch that you cut and you can make it into a little arch or door. See? They make good little little portals. Bye, Kalora. Bye, Kalora. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. So that looks, you know, you can make little cool things with the, the outer ring of the watches, but I'm not going to do that today because I'm going to cut this down even smaller. I don't want it quite this big because I have an idea for these fish. So I'm just going to cut this way down. I'm not sure where I want to put it yet. I'll wait till I lay out the... Let's lay out the fish. 
Okay, so I cut them out, and what I want to do is, I need to have one here. So what I'm going to do is make them look like they're coming out of the water. Now, you could always use the tail to make it funny, too. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I might want that over there. So I'm just going to kind of play around with where I want it to lay them out at. Let's bring that one down a little. <clears throat> And then oh, we could even have one. No, that's too distracting. Going the other way. All right, let's see if we have this coming in this way. And then this one outside. Maybe another tail. Do I need two tails or one tail? I don't know if I need two there. Maybe. Maybe it needs it. Maybe it needs this little one. Something like this. Or maybe the brown one on this side. And the orange one over here. Or the little one. I got the half comes and the monster. You got the dually? You got the dually, Riri? <laughs> Riri. <laughs> you got the dually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought it was cool, you know. But it's a big mama jamba. I'm not kidding. It's a it's a big uh, it's a big uh, notebook for sure. It is. <laughs> so do I need this last one, or is that is it getting to be too much? I think it's getting to be too much. I think that's probably. I don't even know if I need this one. I do not need that. But I kind of wanted one going on this side. Maybe there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now I'm going to glue these down with my new glue sticks. <laughs> Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, it is huge, isn't it? It is huge. The dually is a dually for sure. If y'all miss what I'm talking about, the notebook that I bought to travel, a, a traveling sketchbook. <laughs> But it'll hold so much. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down with the glue stick. If you really want it to be real secure and you're going to do other things on top of it and all, you might want to use the matte medium. But this for me is just play, okay? This is just to play in. It doesn't have to be like... <laughs> Like some of my collages that I do and send out to you guys where I really don't want anything to fall apart or anything. So I'm just uh, gluing these down. All right. And I'm going to want the watch hands to go out from the watch. So let's see. Probably about right there. <laughs> it's supposed to look surreal. That's what it is, Heather. It's supposed to be surreal. All right, let's see. Do I want this up here? Maybe a little bit right about there, I think. And then this one down here. <clears throat> and one of the nice things about having this board with the wallpaper on it is that I can, um, it's, it's wipeable, right? It's wipeable. All right. And if you use any kind of thicker papers or anything, or you don't think it's sticking well enough, then my other option to show you is to do this and to take just some Eileen's tacky glue. Let me just put it on a card or something here because I don't need much. But to put some on a, to squeeze some out on a card. 
like this and then just pick this up on your finger just pick some up on your finger and um because i don't think my paint is completely dry yet so i think uh, a couple of the little areas don't want to stick because the uh, white little dots are not dry so you can uh, put some tacky glue and do the same thing and it'll, it'll hold it better than a glue stick until this is dry at least right so All right, did I get it all? Make sure it's all glued down. And you can always take a card and just kind of smooth it all down. Make sure it's all really glued down. Uh, the literal literal artful translation of the nitty gritty dirt band song fishing in the dark <laughs> uh, okay so let's see maybe put a little bit of orange around here maybe have a couple little extra planets Maybe have a shooting star. And then where's my Posca? Let's see, how do I want these to be? I want to come this way. And then probably behind this fish here. Something like that. I want to get rid of that little star right there. I'm kind of interfering there. There we go. <clears throat> and we could probably put a couple little swirls around. That's Denise. All right. All right, maybe a little bit on this one. Something like this. I haven't been able to chat much since I got my first foster. Okay, let me go back. But I still watch. Oh, thanks, Ashley. I hope you're enjoying your foster child. Real blessing on you for that. Um. No, Heather, go look at my um, go look at my Instagram. I do pet and people portrait commissions, which I'm on a hiatus from doing right now. But I'll show you a couple. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can find me with Dee Dee Willingham or go into Inkywell, I-N-K-I, Inkywell. And uh, let me pick out a couple here. Let's see. Uh, there's a video on, did this one, I did this one on a live show, there's a, there's one of the cats that I did, let's see, let me scroll down to, um, trying to find a couple more here, let me find a people, Here's Kenny's granddaughter. I did Kenny's granddaughter there. With, that's pan pastel and pencil. 
Oh, what else? Of course, when I do pen and ink drawings, like I did, uh, I did 31 days of movie monsters for Inktober. Uh, let's see. Here's the, there's the Wicked Witch of the West in ink. Um, here's Nosferatu. I'm trying to find some just random things. Of course, I do a lot of color book pages, too. Here's our Faithful Mess. Again, guys, I've not seen Faithful Mess around for two or three weeks. If any of y'all have seen her or heard from her, you know, I messaged her on Instagram and I haven't got a reply. Here's um, Connie. I did her Bearded Dragon pet portrait. Um, you can see them better if you go on Instagram. I'm just kind of quickly flipping them up here. Uh, let's see. More Inktober. I did the cats. I did the cats in costume for one Inktober. So all my cats for 31 days <laughs> were in my Inktober. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's another cat portrait that I did right there. course tons and tons of color book pages and there's a uh, yoda i did that one a few years ago but i po i posted every fourth every may the fourth i post that there's one of my color book pages with paint because I, I use paint in my color book pages Oh, she's here? Oh, there you are. I'm in hiding. I'm fine. Okay, well, you didn't answer my you didn't answer my uh <laughs> Instagram message. I was worried about you. I'm glad you're okay. It's okay if you're in hiding, but you can't hide so much when we worry about you. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to see you, Faithful Mess. I'm glad you're okay. Here's another one of my mixed media collage poster. Well, this one I think might be in a book. I'm not sure it's in a book or a poster. So, I, yeah, Heather, I do a little bit of everything. I'm so glad you're okay, Faithful Mess. Here's Jen reading with pugs, her little boy. This was a couple years ago. He's way outgrown that. So, yeah, I do a little of, uh, I do a lot of different stuff. So, if you just go over to my Instagram, there's years worth of stuff over there. We're, and by the way, speaking of Faithful Mess, we're going to go ahead and give away. She sent us some of these Rainforest Escape books that are like um, they're like a watercolor type color book. So we can go ahead and do our giveaways. Again, this is going to be for U.S. only. Then we'll do a separate giveaway with, for a, po a print, one of my prints for international. Because this would cost 25 or 30 bucks just to mail international. Shipping has gone crazy and it's get going up again. So, um, but I, I can mail prints. I can mail out a, uh, what do you call it? You know, one of my, one of my prints like here, let me pull this one. If whoever wins, if you already have this one, then I'll go ahead and uh, do a different, oh, I'll let you pick. Let's see, I got this one and I got this one. Okay, I'll let you pick which one you want. I'll have to put this one in a sleeve, but. Okay, so we'll do an international, we'll do an international, and we'll do a U.S. All right, so listen to the rules. Let me get my phone over here and get random.org. Listen to the rules. Don't put any numbers, okay? All right, so how you, how you uh, when you put in a number is when you see me type in go. When I type in go, let me get a post-it over here. <clears throat> when I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100. The first person closest, the first person closest without going over. And multiple people, everybody could put in the number 50, let's say. But it's going to be the first person that puts it in. So get your numbers in as quick as you can when I type in go. Oh, what happened? 
I said, like, my office was the highest in the house and fix it to set up our house. Oh, so you had to completely re reorganize your house. Okay. All right. Well, just as long as you're okay, faithful mess. <laughs> That's all that matters. You know. All right. Hang on, Heather. Let me finish this. Okay. So when I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100. Let me go to random.org. So, and I've already got in between 1 and 100. So, we'll generate a number after everybody puts in a number. One number only. I can't stress that enough. And Julie just put it in. <laughs> one number only. If you put in more than one number, you will be disqualified. Also, please don't chat. Don't talk. Don't ask questions while we're doing this so that the mods and me, we can uh, see it really really easily okay so remember one number only okay wait wait till i type in go okay there you go all right hurting cats <laughs> hurting cats okay and then this is for us only this is for us only and then we'll do a separate drawing for international only. Okay, we're going to do that one separate. I'll write it down here. This is for U.S. only because the, these books cost uh, too much to mail international. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to count down. Get your numbers in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Forty five. The per first person closest to forty five without going over. The first person closest to 45 without going over. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And we'll look, look, look. First person, I see a 43. I see a 43. Let me scroll back. I see a 43. Joan. Okay, Joan K is 44. Okay, Joan K, are you in the are you in the US, Joan K? Let's clarify that first. Joan K, are you in the US? <laughs> she had 44. She had 44. Let's let's let her answer. And then, Joan, you need to email me your address. I do not share your address with anybody. I don't put you on a mailing list or none of that. But I have to have your address to send you. Um, there's, my, there's my address. Okay, let's make sure she is. Okay, grab my email right there, Joan. Did it go through? Did it go in there? There it is. Grab my email, Joan. And email me your address and I'll send because I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow. So if you get it to me today, it'll go in the post office tomorrow. If not, it may not go till next week. So make sure you email me right away. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do an international and you can pick which print you want. I will put these both in. This isn't a sleeve. So I'll let you pick which one you want. So this is for international only. We're going to do the exact same thing over again. Congratulations, Joan. You're welcome. Email me your address. Okay, so here we go. This is for international only. When I type in go, the same thing applies. One to 100, one number only. Okay. Okay, international only. International only. All right, everybody put in a number. <clears throat> okay, let me click 
it's not moving for there it goes okay all right everybody get in a number international only give y'all a second and you know some of y'all that supported the channel these were prints that i gave away to channel supporters so you may already have one or one or both so i need to put this one in the sleeve <clears throat> All right, I'm going to count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oops, 2, 1. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're going to do another random.org with my phone go okay let's go back over to random.org all right so there's the last one winner the last winner was 45 so the new number is 86 the first person closest to 86 without going over so it's going to be a high number so who has the highest number who has the highest number it looks like it's going to win all right where's my pen here it is is it jerry jerry has 77 okay jerry jerry has 77 so jerry same thing tell me which one you want you want this one the the uh space wrangler <laughs> you want the space wrangler you want i'll just call her the mermaid which one do you want the space or the mermaid Jerry, which one do you want? Which one do you want? And I'll put your name on it. Was or the mermaid. Okay. All right. So here's my email. All right, email me, Jerry. Email me your address, okay? And if you do it today, you'll go out tomorrow because I'm going to the post office tomorrow. My post office trips are down to one once a week right now. So, all righty. Let's see. All right, Joan and Jerry, you're welcome. Glad you... Are here and participated and got a got a little treat got a little treat all right now let me go back to our little collages here that we're working on let me zoom in one more I think okay so as you can see it just curled just a little on the corner but it's pretty flat and by the time you work something on the back, it's going to be even even flatter. You're welcome. Thank you, Pamela. Aww. And Faithful Mess, who gave us the uh, color books. So thank you, Faithful Mess. I'm glad you're okay, Faithful Mess. Don't make me worry about you like that again, Missy. <laughs> All right. So I'm just kind of liking that as it is. You know, again, I, there's a couple of little places here where the, the paint wasn't quite dry, so it didn't quite get glued down. You want to make sure everything is... Uh... Oh, thank you, Devin. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. For office and gas fire. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Devin. Thanks so much for the super chat. You're so sweet. Thank you. And if y'all don't follow Devin Rex for Art, she puts up a video about what? About once a week, maybe, Devin? Um, so, okay. My favorite medium, Heather. It depends on what it is. <laughs> if I'm doing mixed media collage, then it's paint. If I'm doing drawing and, and um, portraits, it's got to be... I've been using pan pastels along with color pencil, but I love color pencil. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Riri. Yeah. Don't, don't leave us wondering how you are. That's okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> we love you. Don't disappear on us. 
even if your air conditioning and everything goes out, you gotta still, gotta still text. You gotta still text. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, Devin. <laughs> I know that dually, right? <laughs> If y'all miss the dually, y'all got to go back and watch. Look at my big giant notebook sketchbook. <laughs> we did a whole art supply haul this morning. So if y'all missed it, make sure and go back and watch it. Thank you, Devin. And again, guys, go follow Devin Rex on YouTube. She does some awesome mixed media art journaling herself. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so she says she tries to do two a month. Okay, I do more often on IG. So and and I think did I what did, didn't you do something? On, didn't I show you some? Oh no, did I show your IG this morning? I don't remember if you had something from society. Let me go look. Let's go back to home. Let's go back over to. Let's see. Hang on. Let me find Devin here. What did she post lately? Well, she's doing something on a collage, an alphabet prompt journal. I'm not sure what this is from. I mean, is it from uh, some kind of a challenge you're in, um, Devin? So she's doing something with yellow. Let's see. Then, Oh, here's, here's one of her little videos there. There's a little. Looks like she's doing... Um, some marbleizing maybe marbleizing see i didn't like this one i didn't see that i have to like your marbleizing you have to go watch her and then there's this one was before that so make sure she's using the new tim holtz blue color thank you rachel thank you so much for the 25 dollar to help with the you all <laughs> You girls are something else. Down with the riddle. You are <laughs> in the markers. Oh, my gosh. Thank you to Canadian. You Canadian. Oh, I was going to say something funny, but no, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Devin and Rachel. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good one. I know the dually. Yeah, I mean, all right, I won't. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna show it again. I'm just gonna show the I'm just gonna show the cover. Look, this is the this what came on the dually. So if you miss seeing the dually, <laughs> you have to go back and watch it. Oh my gosh. Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Right, Pagola wants to support for that Dee Dee Dooley. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Where's that other? Here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Mama Four, thanks for stopping in. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, let me straighten up my camera just a little. There we go. <laughs> All right, so y'all want to do another one, uh, one more page real quick? Let's see. Oh, because I was going to use, all right, let's just go ahead and do the next page just because. So I pulled out some different things here, just some random bits of, um, you know, uh, scenery just to have something. Like here's some random trees and stuff. So, you know, it could go like this. This is off just some calendar pieces. So you can do this, and then you can blend it in. I'll blend it in with some paint. So maybe we'll just go with these. I'm going to go ahead and get some, uh, just some tacky glue on. Uh, let me just throw some on a card here, and I'll just put it on with my fingers. Wait, let's just go ahead and take the cap off if I can, unless I've glued the cap. I might have glued the cap. Okay. Just squeeze out some. Um, this is a little thicker paper. This calendar paper is a little its a little thicker than the thin magazine, so I'm going to make sure and uh, have it glued down well. So I'm just going to go ahead and you can put, you can use a glue stick too, but you got to make sure that your paper is not too thick. 
because glue stick is not the most permanent thing in the world, right? So let's go ahead and put this. So I'm going to use some little stickers or some little thin cutouts. I can just use the uh, glue stick as long as it's not on wet paint. If your paint is still wet, uh, background paint or whatever, then it's not going to, the glue stick won't stick on wet paint. So, you know, and then just take a uh, another clean card here and just mash it down really well because you want to get the wrinkles out as much as you can. Okay, I missed a part right here. Let's just get rid of there. Because I'm not using a matte medium or anything on this. This is just a little little thing to play in, right? This is a little thing to play in. Hi, Amorous. Anybody else I missed? So again, it's kind of like these little mini ones here. Where if you just start with just gluing something like this down. Just whatever, just whatever little pieces you have. And then go back in there with paint and uh, <clears throat> and just play with some paint and just play with some mixing and blending and nothing, nothing fancy in here. It's just some little leftover pieces of collage bits and some paint. And you can go in and put more on there if you wanted to. Like this one, I added some more little stars and, you know. Um. <clears throat> this one fell out so I just taped it back in see where it's kind of come apart this one's quite old though I mean I have had these for a while so you know they are just little composition books and you don't have to feel like they're so precious that you, you know, are afraid to glue something down or afraid to, you know, add something in them. <clears throat> Again, just some leftover paint, just scrape it on. Maybe I'll do some of that. I'll scrape some paint on here, this next one. So with the palette knife, you can just do some scraping. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and put in some kind of a, do I want to put in another Starry Night? Maybe. Because I have black paint left. And I probably need a little bit of green and some magenta, maybe. All right, let's see. That's two. And I want a little bit more pink color. Let's scrape in a little pink. Maybe a little magenta. And a little green. Ooh. couple of greens there we go just a few colors hi bonnie how you doing good to see you and janet by the way while you're here what are you going to do today janet streams at one for those y'all that don't know all right these are some leftover pieces i'll just shove those up there all right so let me get my brush back out all right I think if Janet's still here, I want to ask her what she's going to do today. I'm just going to use up the rest of this black because that's what's on my thing here. So let's go ahead and put some of that. Just maybe not quite as much. Make sure you put some wax paper, though, so you don't glue your pages together because these are really thin. They'll glue together real easy. Okay, then maybe a little bit of blue. Let's work our way down this time instead of up. Doing well. Love your comp book. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Janice, don't know yet. May just do a favorite book review because I'm feeling kind of icky. Oh, I'm sorry you don't feel good, Janet. 
pull out more, just pull out a stack, pull out a stack of books. I mean, if you're up for, if you feel like it, you know, pull out a stack of books. We all love books. All right. So right here, I'm just going to try to blend in some of this pink, some of this pink and the magenta. Got a little too much water left in my brush here. Let me get squeeze out some of that water. I'm just going to go across here. more of magenta in there. I got three packs of the, oh my God, Riri, oh my gosh. I only bought one pack. And for what y'all, what Riri's talking about is these packs of these uh, comp, half comp books. I got them at Walmart. They're 10 for like $5. Now, I don't know what they are at, everywhere, but I got it at Walmart. And uh, they're like 10 of them for $5. And she, Riri said she bought three packs. Oh, my gosh. So she's got 30 of them. Um, all right, we expect to see, we expect to see some uh, proof of working in them, Riri. We need, we need uh, pictures. We need pictures. It doesn't count if there's not pictures. <laughs> All right, so let's get in some of the, you can't really see my colors. I was trying to let y'all see the colors, but okay, let's get a little bit of green and a little bit of black here. So maybe make some of that tree line around the edge there. Just get a base in there. I don't know what we're gonna find. We're gonna go through the sticker book and find something in the sticker book. Okay, let's put some blue down here, a little bit of blue and green. Maybe there's some water down here. Maybe make this into a waterfall right there. My 91 year old just dropped by. What is she doing today? <laughs> my gosh for those of y'all that missed it we did have some scented glue sticks nothing nefarious going on just scented glue sticks <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> that's so cute that, that's so cute <laughs> Uh, well, we'll help you. Uh, ask Jana how helpful I can be with IG, Riri. You, we, we'll get you. We'll get you with that IG. We'll, we'll fix you up. No, don't worry about it, right, Janet? She has no need to worry about her IG. <laughs> oh, well, we got it. We got you, Riri. We got you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just blending and playing here, making a little, I'm making a scene. You know, we got to make a scene. That's a little thick in there. That's going to shut the book right there. It'll, it'll stick. Let's see. I'll pass on. Let's see. Please do. <laughs> Uh, it's not hard. It really isn't. If you need some help um, adjusting your pictures, let, let me know. I'll be glad to help you, Riri. <laughs> Ask Janet how helpful I am. Right, Janet? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I think Jana might be exaggerating just a little. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get into some of that blue right up in here. All right, I think I've gone all the way to the edge. I'm going to go ahead and take out those wax papers now. So we got a little bit of a scene going. We got us a scene going. All right, now let's go ahead. I, I need to clean my brush and get a fresh baby wipe. Go through a lot of baby wipes. And baby wipes, oh, I forgot to do some scraping. I was going to do some scraping, wasn't I? Let's see what I can do. Let's do, um, I don't need too much scraping now. I kind of got it. All right, let's pick up maybe a little bit of the greens here. I was going to do some scraping, you know. Just to show you with a palette knife. Maybe a little bit in some white clouds. Let's, I did wipe my palette knife off, by the way. So let's maybe do a little bit of. And you can also blend. You can put some on. If you don't like it, it's too scrapey. Like, I think it's too scrapey. Let's go ahead and blend some of that out with the baby wipe. Too much. Let's wipe some back. Wipe a little back, a little too much cloudage. Make a little bit of a wavy cloud there. And then maybe just a little bit of stars up in here. More water it's starting to dry out. Maybe put the moon up there or something. All right, so now there's some spots where I don't want them. So while it's still wet, let's go ahead and wipe those out. Okay. Now let's hit it with the heat gun. Under Riri or another name? Let me go look. Bye, Arlene. Thank you for coming in. Now we could draw a moon, or we could find one in the in a book. Let's see. Maybe we'll just try to draw the moon. Okay, let's kind of that texture. Let's see, where's another pencil? I should look at it so I can get the right side lit, but that's okay idea I think mm. All right, let's see it is Riri okay let me go I went over to check let's let's take a look let's let's take a gander here Fib Riri. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, well, that's you did good. That's from July of the it was of this year. This that's good. That's not a bad picture. What are you talking about? That picture is awesome. 
Good job. Fib re re. Fib underscore re underscore re. If he was playing re re, it did come up. So, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Let me get some waterfall, maybe. All right. Let's get a smaller brush. And let's see. Let's clean off my palette knife here. Maybe do a little waterfall over here. I'm just going to have it come right like in front of these trees. Those trees are going to go bye bye. So we have a waterfall here. Make it a little bigger. <clears throat> Not too much. Need to be thinner back there because this is far away. So let's dry this. knock that back a little. We can scrape some of it off. There we go. All right, now let's go in here. Try. Put some of the shadows in there. Just a kind of a thin waterfall. I made it kind of thick down here at the bottom. Maybe a little blue in there. And I'll just add a little Posca. Oh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> well, it's all right for a quick, you know, we're just doing these kind of quick here. All right, so now let's do a little thin. Something like that. Thanks, Carrie. Now, now, look, this is what we get to do now. Wait, let's put a, let's go ahead and make this moon just a little, a little bit of a, a little texture there. And then maybe, maybe, a, do we want a shooting star maybe coming from this angle? Maybe a couple. Let's do two. And then let's look in our let's look in our sticker book and see what we can put in the scenery. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stick this right up here. Let's prop that up because it's got a shine to it. There we go. All right, let's see what we can find in the sticker book. To make it like fun or funny. Ah. Love how this sounds. Thank you, Scoobs. And hi, by the way. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we can just play with here. Because we haven't pulled this book out in a while. So let's just flip through. 
And by the way, you can get this. Um, Jan and I bought two of them, I think, back a couple of years ago. They were 30% off at Target. But I've since seen these at my Books A Million. You can get them online. It's the Antiquarian Sticker Book. But if you like all kinds of just botanicals, there's also the Botanicus Sticker Anthology. And it's just got all flowers and mushrooms and florals, right? This one has all kinds of like Victorian type things in it. So I thought that it might be there might be something fun in here to play with, you know. Of course, any of them could work. And if there's any kind, some of them have, um, you know, borders that are white or the color of the background. I always cut that stuff off or paint it out. So, you know, we'll just look. See, we got, we're going to kind of look at our piece here. Let me back out one because then we can see both things. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> I mean, anything, you could put any of this stuff in there. It would be fine. You know, it would be fun. You know, you could put a giant tarantula, which I'm not going to do, but I'm just saying you can, you know, there's those little ladybugs. Little, little ladybugs would be cute. Thanks, Donna. You know, just look, just this one big flower in here. You can you can do anything. The, the girl playing the piano, the one with the bear. <laughs> I just want to flip through it for a minute. We'll just kind of show you what's in here. Because I've used, you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. You could put that bear in there. Um, I kind of like her with this little um, funny hat or this one up here. You know, they could stand right close, right close up. <laughs> So, and what's nice about this is you can see that there's it's this is on sticker paper, right? Well, once you get done with the sticker paper, look, see, once this is gone, you're still left with this shiny backing because every page is backed with this. So, after you've done used all your stickers, you can still use this part for a book to make it a junk journal or something. You like it, Darlene? Yeah. So there's a little, little balloon. I'm just gonna flip through because I haven't I don't have any plans yet. Maybe something will stand out to me, or I might go through the whole book just to kind of look at it. The sticker book is available right now on Book Outlet. Oh, okay, half price. All right, so there you go, Jerry just said. She believes it's half price. So, yeah. Like I said, my book's a million carries it now. Of course, Amazon does as well. Um, like that little turtle. I kind of want something kind of funny or fun, you know? Like the witch flying through the sky. <laughs> Shells and butterflies. Heckle, is that his name? Heckle? And then there's these big pieces that are like full on you know, silhouettes in here. Just flipping, seeing what I what I don't see. Bye, Jen S. Hi and bye. Thanks for coming in. I like this. These two ladies sitting there. That may I may be able to work that in the scene. Just them two sitting there. I could cut them out. I might go for this. Let me just kind of stick it over here on my table on the side sidebar. Shells. I like these little mushrooms. Can be maybe a couple of mushrooms might be cute too. And this one. I'm going to pull these. I'm just going to stick them up. I have a little place over here that has uh, tape 
tape on my um, table so I can pull these out and cut. The, see, I'm going to cut them down. See how they have borders around them? I'm going to cut those borders off. So let's see those maybe, and then that girl, those girls. And I never trust stickers either to stick to the paint, to the acrylic paint. I always put paint, to, I mean, uh, glue on the back of stickers. So. Just thought maybe I'd like to see what's in this book. There's a third one of these coming out. Yes, I have that. I have that uh, saved in my cart. There's another one of these coming out. And is it October bibliophile or something like that? Yeah, I knew there was a. I knew that Terry. Thanks for the reminder. It is. It is. I do have it in my cart. <clears throat> See, here's where I peeled off all that backing. You can make your own sticker book. I want to show you my, do I have my old sticker book? In? Oh, I do. I want to show you my old, it's been a while since I showed you all my old sticker book from when the kids were like in junior high or maybe, yeah, they would have been in like fifth or sixth grade, maybe going into junior high when we did sticker books together. I have, and I kept mine. They didn't keep theirs. I still have my sticker book. <laughs> I'll show that to y'all. From the 80s. It would have been like 80, maybe 86. Something like that. My sticker book from 1986. I'm just flipping through so y'all can look. Oh, well, your birthday, your birthday's coming up, Bonnie. Are you hinting? <laughs> oh, maybe you're going to buy the sticker book for yourself. <laughs> Teasing you, Bonnie. Teasing you. <laughs> Let's see. Um... <laughs> yeah, everybody's saying happy birthday early, Bonnie. I'm just kind of pausing. Look, there's bugs and fish and all kinds of little beasts, mythological beasts. More birds. I think I'm going to go with those mushrooms and that. Uh, there's another one. Maybe I, maybe I need, I don't know if I need that many. I've already got think, four, four or five of them over there. Okay, and then there's a whole section that's alphabets. The back is all alphabets. See? So, again, this is the Antiquarian sticker book. Over a thousand stickers. All right, so I'm going to go with these. All right, so now but you've got to watch me cut down, cut down the images. So what I want to do here is cut these little ladies out of their background. I don't know if I need that dark part cut out between them. I might leave that. Let's just see what we can do here. And when you cut something out, you want to move your piece. Not, Don't try to do this, you know, with your hands. Move the piece. And you'll get a more precise cut. Okay, so I don't need that. I'm not going to keep that. All right, let's see. Let's get rid of a little bit of this down here. The dresses are all flowy down into there. All right, so let's see. Oops. So I want them somewhere like right in here. Probably better over here, but I think hmm, they probably need to be on this side, balance-wise. All right, let me put let me get out a little bit of glue because I don't trust the sticker glue. All right, now the mushrooms.
But anyway, whether you have this comp book or just a regular size composition book or those little mini ones, if you just have something to throw some paint and some, you know, little images in and uh, paint it in, practice painting it in, or, you know, we've used magazines before, and I'm, I don't want to pull those out right now because I want to pull out my sticker book. But, uh, <laughs> um, magazines are good for practicing your blending and painting and reverse collaging. Let's see. I'm going to put this one over here. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but. Throw these down. But it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot of money. That's for sure. That's why I always like to use craft paint. Show y'all what you can do with craft paint. Collage images. I mean, I do buy things from books and, you know, uh, collage books and stuff online. But you can just find things in magazines and... Thank you, Brenda. Got two more here. Let's put this one right here, I think. But collage is just so forgiving and freeing because you, you there's no wrong way. You know, whatever you decide is your world. You, you know, you, it's not wrong. Nobody can say, well, that shouldn't go there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can put whatever you want in your world. You can build any kind of world you want with your collage. And it didn't probably need to be that close to it. I thought it did, but it doesn't. All right, let's cut this last one out. Not sure where it needs to go, but let's cut it out first because that's so distracting with that edge. And remember last week, I think it was, where I had a whole bunch of collage stuff and we just shuffled it around until we figured out what we liked. You can, it's just, you know, have a bunch of collage stuff cut out. And just then you can just move it around on your pieces and you'll find some place for it. No, oh, thanks, Darlene. All right, let's see. Where do I want this one? Do I want it over here on the side? It kind of makes a triangle. It's a little bright. I'll probably knock it back with a little bit of pencil. It's a little bright. I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be that bright. It doesn't need to be this bright, but I want it over here. That edge coming up. All right. Because I got this one. I actually could use one more right here. Okay. Let's, uh... All right. Let's uh, just kind of tone that down a little bit of gray. Just so it's not so bright white. Maybe a little bit of set it down a little in the in the weeds a little bit. Same for this one. So yeah, that was kind of fun. All right, let me show you my, well, let's go back to the one before. See how flat it's laying? It just, it just, it just smooths out. It's as thin as paper as can be and you can still throw acrylic paint on it and it just stays nice. A little bit of curl on this one, but by the time you paint that back side of it, the, the curl goes away. Okay, I need a little bit of pink right there. Got a little too much white right there on the edge. 
Let's knock that back just a little. Bring in a little bit of darker color right in there. Maybe on the other side too. Yeah, I like that. I need those tiny scissors like those. <laughs> These aren't that tiny. I have tinier ones than this. This is not tiny. You can get some really tight, like embroidery. You can get embroidery floss scissors. They're, they're half this size. I don't know if I got them here. Okay, so here's the ones I was using. Look. So you can get real tiny, real tiny scissors. All right. All right, before we go, I'll show you all my old, I think it's 1986. Let's see. Oh, 1984. Because I got an old Ghostbuster sticker on the back here, and this is from 1984. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is my old sticker book. So, me and the girls all had our own sticker books. <laughs> Let's see here. I got uh, this, the light got a little flashed out there. Let's turn the light down just a tad. There we go. So we all uh, had our own sticker books, and I don't know what happened to theirs, but I still have some. Uh, <laughs> I still have my old sticker book. Okay, so I'll show this to you, and then we'll go. And don't forget, Janet comes on at one. And I hope you're feeling okay, Jan. I'm gonna call you to check on you. All right, let's see. So let's see what stickers we got from 1984, 5, something like that. They're old. So as you can see, I even made little labels for them. <laughs> uh, look, Cabbage Patch Puffy, Puffy ones. They're, these are Puffy stickers. And they, these are all the Cabbage Patch kids. Let's see if I can lift this up. Hang on. Let's prop it up with something. A couple of these little books. Let's prop it up so there's not a glare as much. <laughs> Only find means trying to. Okay, all right. <laughs> so then there's my Ziggies. And look, this thing's just like all falling apart. It's really old. I mean, it's from 1984 or 5. Here's food stickers. Some of them are scratch and sniff. Some of them are scratch and sniff. Let's see if they still. Not, not that one. I can't tell which ones are scratch and snip. Oh, that one moved. Is that one a scratch and snip? I can't remember which ones are scratch and snip. <laughs> All hearts. Like, look, like Lisa Frank. These are probably Lisa Frank right here. So we all collected. We'd go to the, uh, what was that store called? The little, you know, the little kitten, kitty, what is it called? They had a store. They had a whole store. Bye, Rachel. Um, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. That Hello Kitty stores. And we'd go every week and get stickers at the Hello Kitty store. And we collected our stickers for a couple of years. And, of course, I kept mine. <laughs> I don't know what they did with theirs, but I kept mine. Um, bears. Does this bring back memories for anybody besides me? Animals. I'm trying to kind of place some of them that are old. There's some roly eye ones. There's really no, I mean, there's not even any composition to it. There's no layout. It's just they're all st stuck down. They're just all stuck down. <clears throat> some Snoopy, Garfield. I have some old Janet stickers. <laughs> uh, you still have some of them. Do you have a book, Janet? We need to see your sticker book if you have one. Unicorns. This one, what is that date on there? I can't see it. Let's see. There's a date on there. Let me get my... 1983. 1983, that one. 
unicorns. That was a Perseva. Perseva? Perseva? I forget anyway. I love the store as much as the girls did. Yeah, Shelly, right? Oh, here's the smelly one. So let's see. What's. Hang on. Oh, that one does still smell a little bit. The strawberry. Let's see. No, that one doesn't. Let's see if the pizza. Oh, it does. You can still smell the pizza. Oh, my gosh. It still smells. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Flowers. There's that little, those fuzzies. What year were those? What year are those fuzzy ones? 1983. Those little fuzzy ones. 1983. Yeah, Lisa Frank's 1982. <laughs> Judy. Oh, butterflies, shoes. Oh, here's more Lisa Frank. We love these, right? And uh, oh, the colorful. Uh, what's her name? Um, what was her name? You know, Disney. She's a Disney girl. What was her name? Uh, there's Felix the cat right there. There's Felix the cat. And what, what was her name again? Oh, slipping my mind. Don't remember. Somebody here will remember. Betty Boop. Yeah, thank you, Janet. Betty Boop. Another Betty Boop right there. More kitties. Fish and stuff the little bears the um build no not build a bear but who's this one Belosky friend friends i don't remember that's not even blasky i don't know it doesn't even ring a bell there's the old falcon sticker and there's the fuzzy glur glurfs glurfs some more betty boob <laughs> Betty Boop was long before Disney. I mean, not Disney. I was uh, not Disney. Um, the cartoon, uh, you know, like Popeye. Oh, uh, who did those? Who did those? Like Popeye, and I, well, I can see the picture in my head. I see the doors going. <laughs> I forget Flet Fletcher. Fletcher did um, Popeye cartoons, the old original ones. Yeah, Rachel, you're right. It was before. It was before. Here's Disney Channel, old Disney Channel stickers. I mean, this is way back when. What is this? 19, let's see. Can't see a date. Man, that is some tiny writing there. Mm, can't see a date on it. Just says Walt Disney Productions. This was back like in the 80s, Disney. <laughs> this is way back, Disney Channel. Uh, so you can see, look at all the, how that's faded. Oh, here's some more smell. All these, these are layers here. These are layers. Let's see. No, that one's not smell. Let's see if the pizza. No, that one's not really smell. Well, maybe just a tad. Looney, is it Looney Tunes? Is that who I'm thinking of? Yeah, Max Fletcher, Fleischer, Max Fleischer did um, Popeye. But wasn't Betty Boop on one of Popeye's cartoons too? Like way back? I'm talking like in the 30s. Not that I was there. I'm not that old, people. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember when they started. Oh, look, Strawberry Shortcake. The girls had all those little dolls. They had all those strawberry shortcake dolls. Uh, some cats. Garfield. A whole bunch of Garfield. He did both of them? Okay, Rachel. Thank you. That's what I, I'm just picturing the old Popeye. with. I know Betty Boop was at least on one of them, and I thought he did them as well. So, Some more bears. 
think this, this might have been out of one of the girls because it's on this different paper. So maybe this is left over from them. I don't remember. Bears. Bears were a big thing. Bears were big, you know. More bears. More Lisa Frank. With Betty Boop. Another, another Betty Boop. Family Circus. More pizza. More food. Old Burger King. <laughs> and then this, I found that I put this in here because I found this in the in the uh, garage with some of the kids' old school papers and schoolwork. And this was for, uh, this was a binder plus stuff it. It was a binder. And it was 1987. But look, look at their clothes. Look at their clothes and their hair. Look at that. I think, wait a minute. Speaking of, I think Denise did post. She posted on Facebook. It's fair game. I think she posted a whole picture of herself on Facebook. Wait, wait. Let me go look. With the big hair. Let me scroll back. Fair game if it's on uh, online. Just saying. Here it is. This was <laughs> this. I think she was in ninth grade. Here, the picture got wet, so there's smears right there. But look, there's Denise with her big hair in the eighties. <laughs> Again, it got wet. The picture got wet. But look at the big hair. So anyway, that reminded me of this. <laughs> Look at the leggings over the jeans, the tight, the mom jeans. So I had to keep this. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying, Kathleen. Yeah. So anyway, that's my old sticker book. I just kept that in there because it reminded me of the 80s. And then there's my Ghostbuster 1984 sticker from the movie. But uh, yeah. So yeah, memories. <laughs> all right so i guess that's probably all i got for the day um looking around see if there's anything i forgot thanks everybody for entertaining me with my dually <laughs> let's back it out again so big it takes up the whole thing my dually if y'all miss seeing the dually <laughs> watch it all right guys well thanks for being here thanks for playing along i hope y'all um that one let's see who was it um jerry got the print international and joan k got the color book and i'm so glad that we saw our faithful mess pop in and we played a little bit in the new composition books they're half composition books instead of like these little ones now and we did a couple in here. We did this one. And we did this one. And they're just fun to have to play with. Again, you know, when you have some extra paint or just little pieces of collage, just throw the collage in there and go to town and start painting. Start painting on them. So, you're welcome. Aw, thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Joan, Pamela, Abigail. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody. And I, Judy, again. Brenda D. Uh, anybody else uh, missed? Don't forget, Janet comes on in about an hour and 20 minutes, 1 o'clock. And uh, so I'll go get some lunch. You had fun? Thanks, Darlene. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you on Wednesday. Barring anything happening, I'll see you on Wednesday. And again, in August, I will be taking a week off. I'm not sure which week yet. I'll let you know the week before, if at all possible. But if you don't see me here, I, then I just, you know, I, I'm going to try to tell y'all ahead of time if I'm going to be gone. But, um, yeah. So, thanks, everybody. All right. We'll talk. Hi, Carla, by the way. Susie girl. Anybody else? All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, guys.